Tell me what you see in me Gotta be something different You must be made for me Patient is nothing In and out, in and out, in and out Arguing What's up, y'all? Welcome back to the channel. I am Alexis the MP. Do not forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, today is New Year's Eve, so I just pulled up to the nail salon because I want to get these addressed while I'm here, get my toes done as well. So we're about to run into the nail salon. Hopefully, it's not super packed because everybody waiting to the last minute, like me. But let's run up in here and see how it is. Let me get my keys. Just look like Tyler Perry But she don't love me, she's too scary My hope is fun like Jackie Brown I don't wanna know but she too down Will you be my leading lady? I wanna contract them, no baby Y'all, so I just finished my nails and I was low-key pissed in there First off, what time is it? I got here at 10. It's almost 2 o'clock. So I've been there almost 4 hours. All I got was a filling and a pedicure. But it was super packed. But that was my fault. I waited last minute. But my nails. My nails are so ugly. Like I'm very particular about shape. Y'all. These are not square. Look how messy the edges are. I don't even know if y'all could tell. Maybe I'm just being picky. But these are not square. These are like little round niblets. I don't know. And I was telling the lady like, ma'am, this is not, this is not square. But, and I already knew about that um particular person. Like usually I avoid her when I come to Jacksonville because usually I'll try to avoid her. But it was so busy in there. I'm like, okay, she can't screw up just a basic feeling with just plain black like she is no way she can screw that up like y'all i hate I, it's the messiness for me like still leaving polish around the edges like i can't stand that you don't even know how i had to tell her can you polish the side of the nails like you don't see how it's still transparent it's no coats over there child it's whatever i'm probably gonna get these taken off and just be bell because I, I can't stand no nasty nail like these are so ugly to me Happy New Year, y'all. Um, I am currently back out here at the stores. I was going to come to the nail salon, but they're closed. Because, y'all, look at my nails. This started happening literally a few hours after I got my nails done. I told y'all my nails went right. Like, I don't know if it was picking up on the camera yesterday. I told y'all my nails went right. And now all of them are lifting and peeling. And, of course... The nail salon is closed because I sure was going to go in there and read them for filth. Like, y'all should be ashamed of y'all selves. For real. But see, God spared them because they ain't they closed for the holiday. But I'm going to go to Ulta. I ordered me a little drill on there. And I'm going to just take the nails off. So, let's go to Ulta. Hopefully, my order is ready. get some nail strengthener for when I take off my nails. I'm trying to see if I need something else. I need like that little tool to get the pull off. All right, so goods from Ulta secured. I got me a nail scraper, 
nail polish hardener and a drill with six heads. So something better work with pure acetone too. So let's get home and try to get started on that. And hopefully it's not too, too difficult. Ooh. back here because y'all know traveling across the country is something else so travel back here got here went straight to work not my four days out and now it's the weekend today is sunday uh one of the ladies at the job has a church her and her husband and she invited me to service so i'm gonna go and check it out see how that is I ain't really have too many presentable church clothes, so all I really have is like a sweater, but I'm hot as hell. <laughs> like, oh, I'm so hot, y'all. Y'all know I don't, I don't like being too warm. So I got my fan on. Let me pat my purse up right quick so I can be on time. And then I wanna stop by Starbucks and get me like something to munch on too, because I really haven't eaten since like yesterday during lunch time so i'm a little munchy and i'm probably gonna go grocery shopping i was gonna go to the little winery today but it's raining outside so i don't really know if i'm gonna be trying to deal with the winery and the rain but let me show y'all what i got on okay y'all so i just got on a little sweater from Shein with an undershirt i got on some black long johns some little boots from ego and then i'm just gonna carry my kurt geiger bag i just have on some gold boots few rings i ain't even show y'all the completed journey of my nails so this is what my nails are looking like horrible i ain't even get to polish them like i literally just have filed them down like y'all saw uh after i removed the acrylic and this is what i'm left with so yeah all right, y'all, let me get out of here so I can be on time and not see P10. All right, y'all, so I'm out of church. Church was really good, very, very good, uh, especially for the new year. I haven't been, y'all, it's been a while since I've physically been to church. Now, I've been attending church online here and there a few times throughout the month. But to be in church felt really, really good. And the message was good um, in regards for repentment for the new year and not passing off judgment to always start your new year off with being grateful, uh, with being sweet, being kind, because that's how you receive your blessings. So it was a great message definitely will be back i'm so glad she invited me out they actually invited me to lunch so i'm gonna go and commune with them i guess and uh go eat and then go to the grocery store a little bit later so let's head out there i think it's some mexican restaurant that we're supposed to be going to so i will check in once we are at the restaurant <laughs>
y'all. So I made it back. Pour me up a nice size glass of wine. It's raining outside. I'm about to turn on some good Sunday TV. Catch up on the Real Housewives of Potanka. If you follow Funky Naniva, you know Potanka mean Potomac. But watch Real Housewives, relax. But before I go, I want to show y'all my digital uh, vision board. So I posted it on New Year's Day, like soon as the clock strikes 12. I posted it then on my Instagram story. So some of you have probably already seen it. And if you haven't, that means you're not following me on Instagram. So I'm gonna go ahead and give y'all some time to do that now. Alexis the MP, as well as Classy Not Bougie on Instagram. Y'all go ahead and follow. Okay, y'all should be taking some time to look that up on Instagram and hit that follow button, okay? So um, I'm gonna show y'all what I created. And this is just different goals for me personally that I want to either continue to accomplish throughout the year or something that I'm striving for throughout the year. So I'm gonna go through it, kind of explain it. This is it right here, just like a quick glance. Okay, so let's go through. So starting off up here, we just have some good pictures of good eats, good fats, which means better diet control. Next to it, it's got be a bad ass with a good ass so that means we getting fit this year okay i'm gonna turn 30 i definitely gotta be fine um i have some little dumbbells for some weights again we're back on our fitness journey this year uh can i be a travel mp let's talk local tenants so i'm really trying to dig deeper onto the business side of me being my own business and working for myself uh, of course, we got the airplane in the sky, y'all, because we definitely traveling 2023 outside of work as well. Right here is a little picture of Santorini. That's why I'm trying to be at 30. And speaking of 30, hello, 30 right here. Right here, we got a picture of some stocks. I'm really trying to get more into investments, um, more into different mutual funds this year as well. So definitely working on that definitely had to include goddess within her she will not fail that one say fall but i'm familiar with fail um stethoscope because we're in our nursing bag of course black women in luxury we always striving to live a luxurious life okay as well as a false life and this is very much giving soft this here yes for the girls who know, yes, we are all trying to live that nice princess treatment, okay? I better get my bouquet of roses this year. <laughs> and then I'm trying to be more in my vlogging bag. So I got the Sony ZV-1, the camera that I record with. Uh, I have some Barreto fragrances here. Definitely trying to get more into different fragrances that I, and continue to build up my collection really, so. Overall, this is the 2023 vision board. So I hope everyone was able to make a vision board this year. It's just good to put things into perspective and set them out with intention. So that way you can cross things off as you achieve them. I'm wishing everybody a great 2023. If you got these goals in mind, please. Take a stab at them and make sure you get to work, put the feet to the pavement, and achieve everything that you want, accomplish everything that you want. I wish y'all many blessings for the 2023 year. And um, set it as your lock screen too. That's what I have mine as, just as a daily reminder, you know? So that is it for this video, y'all. It was nice and short and sweet. Hope y'all enjoyed it. The first video of 2023. Like I said, I'm about to go relax. Y'all have y'all a good day, and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye.